today I am in Ushuaia, Argentina. Oh, I'm so excited to be here. I am going on a trip to Antarctica, which is why I'm in Ushuaia. I landed yesterday after an extremely long journey to get here. After flying from Sydney to LA to Texas to Buenos Aires to Ushuaia, I got picked up by Polar Latitudes and they've taken us to a hotel that's at the very top of a hill overlooking the entire town of Ushuaia. It's absolutely incredible. There's like the best views and our room. So this is my bed right here. And if we come over here, that is amazing. <laughs> Oh, I'm in awe. I also wonder if one of those is our ship. I don't know, maybe that one. So the flight into Ushuaia was absolutely amazing. I was sitting on the window seat and I took some photos just on my phone and I added to them quickly in Lightroom of what I saw out the window because it was so stunning. I much have a free day to do whatever I want today in Ushuaia. So I've decided to come here and walk through the amazing forest that's right by the hotel. All the trees here are covered in moss and they look incredible. So I'm just taking a couple of photos and stuff while I'm here and then at 3 p.m. they're gonna pick us up to take us down to the dock so we can board the ship. We have left Ushuaia! Bye! I think I'm gonna grab my photo camera probably with the 70 to 200 and just get some creative snaps around the boat. I'm so happy and so excited that we're finally on our way! So here's a look at our room. We have the bathroom and then the main bedroom with our two beds. And actually, this is such a surprise that we have a balcony. I need to try on my boots. These are the waterproof boots that Polar Latitude provides you with, with the thickest socks that I have to make sure that they fit. Yeah, they fit! Boot number one. Hey everyone, it is day two on the ship today. We <laughs> hit the Drake Passage last night. This etiquette portion. So I'll begin at 2.30. 15 minutes. Sounds like we have to do our mandatory safety briefing now because I think tomorrow we finally get to go on the Zodiacs. I just wanted to walk down the hallway here so you can see that as I'm walking, the swell is pushing me side to side. It's a little bit scary. You'd be like walking down the middle and then you get pushed to like one side of the hallway and then you get pushed to the other side of the hallway. It's so fun with everyone taking photos. There's apparently an albatross flying around in the back of the ship. I think I'm gonna go get my two to 600 and I'll try and get some shots because they're just hovering around. Did you ever think you would see me doing bird photography on my channel? I actually felt so nauseous during the Drake Passage, which was quite a calm passage at a two out of 10. So I wouldn't want to know what it feels like at a higher rating. Luckily, going outside to get some fresh air it makes you feel so much better. We have officially made it to Antarctica. You can see ice, icebergs and snow and land behind me. That is Antarctica. I can't believe we're finally here. So this morning we are going on our very first Zodiac cruise to land. We just landed in Antarctica. We are standing on land and we are doing a little walk right now. You can see our ship is just over there. And look at these incredible views. I'm just filming on my phone because I wasn't sure what to expect for our first landing. So I've only got my one photo camera with me. I'm using the Sony a7 IV with the GM 70-200F 2.8 Mark II. And I was just admiring Back here, the clouds that we have. It's a little bit like yellow and stormy. It looks really cool. We've got some nice texture. And there's icebergs. There's just icebergs <laughs> floating in the water. <laughs> so I was so focused on trying not to fall when I was walking down the hill that I didn't even realize <laughs> there's two seals right there. Oh, I got a little yeah. photo on my 70 to 200 at 200 millimeters of this little one here. That one there. So it looks so comfy sleeping there. I wonder if you can see a little bit of snow as well in my shot. So we just got back from our first Zodiac landing. We ended up landing, we walked up to the top of a viewpoint, I saw some seals that I got photos of, and then we went on a Zodiac cruise because there are some 
cool icebergs around. We thought they were huge, but apparently according to the people, the Polar Latitudes guys, they were saying that they're actually really small icebergs and we're gonna see much, much bigger ones later on. The icebergs are so unique with super interesting shapes. I did struggle to photograph them a little. I personally always thrive when I have a subject, so I actually felt more at home photographing the wildlife. The penguins and seals were like my models. I just can't tell them what to do. Right now we're gonna have lunch and then later in the afternoon we're gonna go on another Zodiac cruise which means we just stay on the boat but we're gonna go have a look at whales because we're gonna go down to the bottom of Charlotte's Pass and apparently there's a lot of humpback whales and minke whales there as well so fingers crossed I get a good photo of them. The cruises are a good opportunity to bring my heavy lens with me, the Sony 200 to 600 millimeter. The minke whales we spotted were pretty sleepy so we only caught a couple of glimpses of their fins. I ended up switching over to my 35mm prime because I knew I absolutely needed to use this lens at least once while I was here. I got some photos of the people on my zodiac and some wider shots of the landscape around us. There was heaps of brush ice around and I was waiting for a moment for our zodiac to line up with the mountain and a small piece of ice I could use as an anchor in my photo. In my first Antarctica video, a lot of you were asking, why am I using such fast shutter speeds for my photos? I have to say, these are probably the most challenging conditions I have ever had to take photos in, especially at this moment as we were heading back to our ship and came across two lonely Adelie penguins chilling on an iceberg. It was so cool getting to see this beautiful species of penguin. The first reason to use fast shutter speeds is I am using extremely long focal lengths and the longer your focal length, the more chance you you have to get motion blur. I am also photographing floating objects and moving animals super far away from me and I am also usually on a floating moving boat. If I were to use slower shutter speeds to keep my ISO down, I would have way too many unusable photos with motion blur. So these video shots and photos for example, I captured them all handheld from a moving zodiac at around 200 to 400 millimeters. And the penguins themselves were also on a moving iceberg. I did everything I could to keep my camera as steady as possible, including holding my breath. We woke up for sunrise, which is surprisingly not that early. <laughs> it's at 4 a.m. I kind of thought it would be at 2. Well, I took photos during the best light, but that's our view at the moment. It's kind of wrong seeing another ship out here in Antarctica, but there we go. We're not the only ones here. The light was very pretty. Today I'm taking with me the 70-200, the a 74 a 2x teleconverter, so I have like a 100-400ish. Then I have the a7S3 with my 20mm 1.8 for vlogging, which I will also double up on for photo if I want a wider shot than 70. But yeah, this is my kit today because we are doing a bit of walking, so I'm trying to keep it as small and as light as possible. Okay, so we made it to our day two Zodiac Lady. Yeah, so the rest of the recording was so windy, so I'll just free tell you what I said here instead where you can actually hear me. This is the first of a few penguin colonies we visited. These are Gen 2 penguins, and this is at Port Lockroy where you can find Antarctica's only post shop, museum, and gift shop, which makes for a nice subject. You can see it in the background of this shot just here. There are heaps of these Antarctic shags in this area and for a split second they look like flying penguins. At this stop there are some whale bones on the shore and the most incredible mountains surrounding you. This is where the penguins were collecting rocks for their nest. If you want to see more of my video b-roll of my entire trip, please check out my first video which gives you an overview of what it's like traveling in Antarctica. This and my next two vlogs are all about the photography instead. While the portrait photographer in me really wanted to get so many close-up shots of the penguins, I made sure to get some atmospheric shots as well. It's good having a mixture of the two because just close-ups of penguins, well, you could have taken those shots anywhere. But photos that show more of the landscape and environment give so much more context to your images. Oh. Walk 
way. But I'm gonna end the vlog here. I feel like I've already shared so many photos and we still have a few days to go. So I'm gonna make a part two of Antarctica and I have a couple of other videos I'm working on as well. I really hope you don't mind that I'm gonna upload quite a few videos from here, but I feel like it's such a special place. Like I have to. But I really, really hope you enjoyed today's video. Let me know which ones are your favorite photos down in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts because I love hearing from you. But as always, thank you so, so much for watching. I make new videos every single week. So I will see you all next time. Bye. Mm-hmm. <laughs>